For some, a Thanksgiving tradition died today. Customers who spent it at Threadgills on Riverside Drive ate their final meal there before it closes for good in a little more than a week. Turkey Day has always been the restaurant's busiest day. Chris Davis went to talk to people who wouldn't miss the last meal. Hi. In a city that's always changing. For two people, what was your name? This has not. All right, it's moving pretty quickly. Hour, hour and a half right now. <laughs> that's the way Cliff Wright likes it. We look forward to a Thanksgiving dinner because some people don't want to cook. <laughs> He drove in from Bastrop with his wife and friends for the meal. Even the pie, I didn't need it, but I'm eating it. It's a tradition, or, well, it was. All right, let's go. The restaurant's owner says he can't afford this prime real estate anymore. We understand. That's why we moved out of Austin. So the folks here are left with memories. Thank you all for waiting. Happy Thanksgiving. And the little girl that's kissing her mom's cheek is Caitlin, who's sitting across from me right now, embarrassed. <laughs> Gary Thompson says this is the kind of place that made Austin, Austin. And it's the home cooking and it's the musicians with their pictures lined up around the walls. The pictures now tagged for auction. But the Threadgill's journey is not over. The other location is staying open. Best we can hope for is that everybody will come up north Lamar and and eat with us every now and then. No, Who's no, cooking no. next year? Cliff and co probably won't make the trip up north. After all, this is where the tradition was. So yeah, it saddens us, but hey, that's Austin. It's where the memories still are. Oh well, are we ready? Chris Davis, KXAN News. Happy Thanksgiving! The North Lamar location isn't exactly safe either. Prices are rising there too. Owner Eddie Wilson says that they need to see a 10 to 15 percent increase in business if they're going to be able to stay open. Threadgill's plans to close its Riverside location on December 2nd. A few days later, the owner is hosting an auction to help dozens of workers left without a job. The auction includes memorabilia that the owner has on the walls, like pictures of performers and posters of previous concerts at Threadgill's. The money will be the only form of severance pay for the 70 workers. It'll help pay for health insurance for a few months. The auction is Saturday, December 8th. Today, Governor